Did I ever tell you guys that I really love the view of the city? So let's put a pause on marveling the city for a while and let's talk about two things proof of concept and double serving. Okay, so what is proof of concept? If you have a project that requires a massive amount of budget, uh, it's very important for you to prove that whatever concept that you have in your mind really works, right? Because the investors put in money in your project, you must guarantee that it works. So the proof of concept is a, a short uh, test to showcase what your project is about, right? So there's a successful one take, for example, Deadpool, right? Deadpool had a leak uh, where they actually did a visual effects test and when the investors saw that and how the audience react to it, they immediately say, okay, let's green light this project. Hola, me llamo Pesina de la Muerta. There are other proof of concepts. Take for instance, the short film for Whiplash is available on YouTube, right? So it started out as a short film uh, just to show that the, the scene worked and imagine what it's like for the rest of the movie. Okay, a little trouble there, no problem. So let's, uh, let's pick it up to 17. A proof of concept doesn't necessarily need to follow its intended medium. So take for example, uh, this is one of my favorite films, right? Oblivion. Oblivion had the, uh, the beginnings as a graphic novel first, right? The director written the script and he knew that it was tough to try to garner interest from investors. Wrote the graphic novel and then everybody liked it and then green light into a, a film. It's time to come home. I'm not gonna do that. I'm very sure you have seen proof of concepts, right? Just nobody recognizes it at search because it's such a technical term. Proof of concept. Uh, take for example, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, when, when filmmakers want to show the potential investors, right? By saying like, hey, you know, this is what a film looks like. They need to shoot a proof of concept in order to have a more chance in a successful campaign. So take for example, there is this one project that I actually shell out 50 USD to get the Blu-ray because when I saw it, this is batshit crazy, I must invest in it. Get ready for Kung Fury. So to give context to Light by Bedside being the audition, uh, let me paint a whole picture first, right? So we, we need to understand that Project A's main purpose is to make the feature film which requires me to convince the partners of the talents that I picked. Project B just need the film. When this kid came along, he was untested. Uh, I, I was sort of worried. So I, I saw something in this kid, right? And it's very hard to convince what I feel to the producers. So Vitsi came along and, and said like, hey, you know, we have a small budget. Can you make a, a Mother's Day short film for us? So I, I was very lucky to have Kenny saying like, we trust you to make your decision. So it's a risk on my part to take an untapped talent to do this short film. Because Project B, I have a little bit more freedom. I can do a bit of double serving. So I am just the bridge, taking project B to address what I need in project A. A bit of a mind bender there, but I do hope that I explain this sufficiently. When, when I wrote and produced for the animated short as written, yes, I do write teen dramas. Who knew? You heard him talk? Who? Oh, James. There's a campaign for the short film. Uh, this lady, Jessica Hing, uh, came along and said like, hey, I want to help you guys to start a crowdfunding campaign. And on her own initiative, she actually made a short film. So what she did is, is she imagined herself as one of the characters, like one of the schoolgirls, right? And created a vignette uh, telling her inner thoughts, her, her prose, and her romantic ideals into a uh, a very short clip and use that as a campaign for the short film. And to me, like like that 
serves as two purposes. One is to help us raise money as a campaign video. And the other one is a short vignette of her own self-expression. I remember my time in school. Running down the corridors, trying to beat the school bell, often failing. I remember the time of youth. It wasn't always as fast paced. It wasn't always angling forward. So are there examples of double serving projects? Oh, by the way, double serving is my own term. So don't, don't go out to the industry and say like, hey, I want it to double serve. I, I, I don't think anybody understand that. It's, it's just something that I coined, right? For the sake of this video, I will continue to call it double serving. So double serving projects. I want you to take a look at Heineken to Entrance. Entrance is the ad for Heineken. Features a guy coming in, really popular, everybody likes him, and he gets served a bottle of Heineken. So in the background, there's a band playing, calling himself the Asteroid Galaxy Tour, singing the Golden Age. So the agency has made a music video and an ad, and I'm sure they have the budget to make sure that both projects make sense. This is not an excuse for Singapore producers to try to squeeze two projects from one budget. It is not healthy, do not do that. Oh yeah, and, and the ad features this stuntman. You have to check him out. Raider. Yep, that's right. That's the guy. So in, in this compressed video, I, I hope I sort of explain uh, these two concepts. So straight, uh, in the field of acting, uh, let, me, let me try to think of a suggestion that you can use these two concepts. So here's, here's one suggestion. Maybe you can try uh, when someone asks you to do some line reading, uh, you can submit according to what they're asking for plus one more. So imagine if you can do a... Uh, uh, sort of like an expressionist uh, vignette of you adopting that character and write a monologue for it. Rage! Rage against the dying of the light! Yeah, so, so it requires a bit of writing and a bit of producing and if you can do sort of like a mood piece of you playing that character and, and spewing out some monologue as that character, maybe that will help. I, I can see that uh, if you do a bunch of this, you have a compilation of monologues. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of uh, extra work but if you put in the hard work, you'll pay off eventually, right? Proof of concept requires work. You need it to convince your partners. But to make it double serving, it requires some creative thinking. Woo! Okay. Back to the city. 